Good day everyone. We will discuss on workarounds to keep an always on availability group on a particular node in this video. Let's get started. We'll be using this particular environment for this video. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are configured as synchronous replica. The availability group is JBS AG. So uh, the requirement here is basically that the availability group JBS AG should basically be residing only on server JBS AG1. Even if the availability group fails from JBS AG1 to server JBS AG2, it should automatically be failed back to server JBS AG1 as soon as possible. Downtime during the fail back activity is not a cause of concern. This definitely seems to be a strange requirement. And uh, the reason for this requirement is that uh, server JBS AG1 hosts SSD drives, which performs many times better than the SAS drives hosted on uh, server JBS AG2. The configuration is basically done to save some cost, but uh, since the SSDs are in place in JBS AG1, we always wanted the availability group on JBS AG1 um, because the uh, primary, um, uh, wherever the primary is, that is where uh, we will have uh, maximum load, at least for this particular application. And since JBS AG1 has got SSD drives, um, the application um, um, uh, exhibits a better performance um, uh, when the availability group resides in JBS AG1. And that's the requirement, uh, uh, at least for this particular video, where uh, you need to basically maintain um, the availability group on uh, replica JBS AG1 always. For this particular uh, requirement, uh, what I've decided is like I've uh, decided to uh, use an uh, TSQL query that would be running every one minute on the primary replica to check for uh, uh, the availability group status. And uh, it basically performs a uh, um, uh, failover whenever availability group fails over to JBS AG2. Before that, let's uh, look at the always on availability group uh, dashboard. If we look at it, uh, JBS AG1 access the primary and JBS AG2 access the secondary. So um, what I'm going to do now is like, let's look at this particular um, TSQL query, which will be used to fulfill this requirement. Um, uh, basically like uh, using sys.tm underscore HADR underscore availability underscore replica underscore states and sys.availability underscore replicas. I'm basically joining these things with uh, replica ID and uh, replica server name. And I'm uh, basically like um, uh, having a predicate of um, replica server name, which is basically an uh, attached server name. So whenever it is going to run in JBS AG1, it is going to return as JBS AG1. And uh, in case of this um, uh, role description for uh, JBS AG1 is secondary, then what happens is like we will be executing this particular query to fail over the availability group JBS AG from uh, JBS AG2 to JBS AG1. So what I'll do is like I will um, um, uh, schedule this TSQL query as an SQL agent job. So this is the uh, job name. Let's go to the steps, click on new. Let's uh, paste this particular query here. Let's go to advanced and then change this to quit their job reporting success. Click on OK. And then let's uh, schedule this job to run every one minute. Yep. And then let's uh, create it. So what we'll do is like we will manually start the job and then see if it completes. Looks good. Let's look at the history and then see if everything is all right. No errors and things like that. Everything seems to be fine. So right now, uh, if you look at the dashboard, what I'm seeing is like uh, uh, JBS AG1 is the primary here. So what we'll do now, we will fail over and then see if the job is doing its job as expected. Okay. 
the failover has completed this has become primary this is the secondary let's wait for the job to complete and then we will check it further okay so right now i'm able to see that jbsh one is secondary let's look at the job so the job is currently running okay the job is completed let's refresh it okay if you see yeah what i'm able to see that a job completed and then the availability group automatically kind of failed over from uh, ag2 jbs ag2 to jbs ag1 automatic by means we basically use the job to check for the status of uh, jbs ag1 and uh, uh, as soon as it fell it understood like jbs ag1 is uh, secondary uh, we executed uh, the failover command and then always on availability group basically failed over from JBS AG2 to JBS AG1. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.